and this transition and all those things we have learned it now now we have a clear understand about this transition how to apply the transition so we have understood clearly transition group means for a group of elements if you want to apply a transition or animation how we can do it so these guys has given a simple example the same example we'll try to do it so here they are trying to do it this one right so we'll try to do the same thing so what they have did it i will try to do the same thing we we'll, let's try to do this one so this one we are doing it right so now first let's try to apply this list of groups so here i am trying to take one new component list group list group dot view we'll try to do the same example template and i'll be having one view okay so here we can have the script export default so he is having the buttons right so here we'll be having data property and let's return these all the things so we are having a numbers so he is having numbers 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 8 9 9 let's try to have 9 so we'll have a next number also so 10 is the next number right so these are some of the options we are having so let's try to loop over these all the things so do so here we are having a span and here we have and for number in numbers so i want to do i want to show the number so i am trying to show a number e is equal to number okay so key is equal to number so everything is completed why is this error yeah so let's go to the app dot view and add this animation thing also so view <coughs> class is equal to my iphone 3 and here i am adding this list group so this list group i am adding it now in this list group let's import this list group import list group from components dash list group where is this list group yeah so this is the list group so let's go on to this list group and add this list group so let's add this list group so fine let's see the output how it where it will appear mm, so here we are able to see one two three four five six right so yeah fine mm, so nice so we are able to see the output let's give some gap for this one this group mfn3 we already given it right not a problem so let's go into the list group here so these are the things we are having let's give some gap so mx hyphen 3 or something like this yeah we are having some gaps we have a we'll have a three buttons add remove and shuffle something like that or there's add remove also we can have it let's go down i'll be having class is equal to m by hyphen 3 or something like this <coughs> So here I'll be having um, what I can say <coughs> buttons, two buttons, three buttons, right? Three buttons add, and another one is remove, and last one is a shuffle. So whatever thing you want. So three buttons we are having. Class is equal to oh, okay. We don't want a class or anything. So here at the rate click dot prevent is equal to on add. I'm using on add, and here I am using at the rate click dot prevent on remove at the rate click dot prevent on shuffle so whichever you want you can keep it so here we are having three options on add on remove and on shuffle so here we are having three buttons now when i am clicking on this add i want to add some random item so at the last or front or back or whatever it may be so here let's go to the methods <coughs> so on add I will try to push this dot numbers dot push of this dot next number. Next number I am pushing and I will update this next number so that next it will try to update it. Next number plus plus. So this one. So on remove. So I want to remove the random number on remove. So we can have so many options. So let's take the random index so i want to take the index which is available in this one so you can take the random one like this so i will try to do math dot floor so you can do whatever thing you want whatever the logic you want you can do it so just i am doing some random logic math dot random into this dot numbers dot length so i will get the index which is available 
in this index thing random index i got it so here i will try to remove this one this dot numbers is equal to this dot numbers dot filter or otherwise with that index also you can do the slice and all those things also you can do it <coughs> number number is not equal to this dot numbers this dot numbers numbers of random index okay it will try to remove the index thing so this all depends <clears throat> on shuffle so i don't want to make uh, this one from z so on shuffle so i will try to reverse those numbers that's it on number start reverse that's it so let's have these all three methods we are having so on add and remove and shuffle so these are the two three methods which i am having it so let's try to see whether it is working or not so if i try to see the output add it is adding the numbers at the last or on shift you can use it and add it at the front also it will do, do it after doing the animations it'll try to do it remove it is trying to remove some random numbers shuffle means it is shuffling so everything is working fine so now we need to do animation so when i am trying to add this one so we need to add this one in an animation so now here we cannot apply a transition for this one why because so this pan is looping over so this fan is looping over vi fan for means we will be having so many child elements so we cannot use a transition for this group of items we need to apply a transition group so here transition group so for this one we need to apply transition group <coughs> transition group i need to close it here also so transition group so this is the group this is the transition group we need to apply and <coughs> for this transition group it will create a root element so automatically this transition group will create a root element something like div element or something like that so already we have created at the top right so there is no need to create and you can mention the tag so what is the tag element you want to create so i want to create the tag create the root element with the div which i have created earlier so that now the transition will create the div and, and it will apply some classes and all those things to the transition thing otherwise you can leave that one again another div it will create transition thing that is the reason i am trying to tell you <coughs> nothing will happen so now let's give some name name for this one so we know right name wow uh, transition group so th that's it so let's go into this style style scope and here so we have list hyphen enter hyphen from and here we can have dot list hyphen enter hyphen to and here dot list hyphen enter enter hyphen active so these are the things we are having and you can also use dollar list dot list hyphen leave hyphen to <coughs> edit this one and here i can add dollar list hyphen leave hyphen from and the last one we can do it is the, the dot list hyphen active so these are the classes which you want to do it so here i can do opacity so 0 to opacity 1 so this is a common thing which we'll try to apply opacity 1 and here we can use the transition <coughs> transition all 1 second or to 0 0.5 seconds anything so that's it so now let's see whether the transition will apply or not if i try to do this one i click on that see i am able to get a transition i am able to get the transition see uh, uh, slowly it is getting appearing when i am trying to remove here if i am trying to remove so one item is go removing away so six is removing so it is it is going immediately going to the first position so it is somewhat happening so some jerk is happening when the last item is removing okay fine it is fine so when the middle item is removing so it is having it is the suddenly the last elements are suddenly jumping to the forward so this one also we can do the animation okay so here they, they will be trying to mention you about the transition group so here adding a random index so now we are able to see it right so same scenario he is having a jerk option so whenever when whenever we want to shift it actually when we want to using this push so he is doing unshift right we will try to do the unshift but we are doing horizontally he is doing vertically so now when i want to try to tell you so when i am trying to add it see the items are moving and the item is adding 
let's try to add this uh, animation thing also so that my animation thing means now what i want to do is translating thing so we want to move it from top to bottom like that we let's try to do it so for that doing thing <coughs> what we need to do we need to implement this uh, what i can say translate so transform translate of 30 pixel whatever thing so it will it will move to down okay so from down to top it will come or otherwise it will move from top to down so while removing it will move down while adding it will come down to top i think so that is the thing so you know thing so top to bottom means minus 30 you will try to use it so here so the transition is not applying so the the opacity thing is applying the transition is not applying i have added the transition thing but the transition is not applying for applying these transitions what we need to do is this all span element should be in the block level element or inline block level element for a transition to apply so i am applying the bootstrap class inline hyphen block and now the transition will apply so this one this one is one of the important thing which you need to remember so when i try to add it see okay i am using this x thing right so let's try to use it y thing uh, instead of having like that we'll try to okay i am using this one so y thing we'll try to use it y thing let's see from down to top i need to get it <clears throat> so when i apply this one see now i am able to get it like this so now here i am able to get a transition thing but this jerking effect is coming so whenever in the middle item it is removing so all the remaining items are coming at a time for this one what they will try to what the, what they will try to do is so moving transitions so for this one <laughs> we have a extra option is that is nothing but apply transition to the moving elements so the, to the moving elements it will be applied a special class will be applied that is nothing but list hyphen move so for this one they are trying they are telling that to apply it to the transition all this one okay fine so let's try to move it so here we are having list hyphen so for this one only we need to add dollar dot list hyphen move comma and now another thing what they will trying to do so here ensure leaving items are taken out of the layout flow we need to apply list hyphen leave hyphen act as position absolute so we need to apply this one as position absolute okay fine let's try to apply this one also so list hyphen leave hyphen act to as position absolute so now let's see what will happen so these are the two things only we need to do it if i try to remove it see now we are able to get a transition nice transition we are able to get it so that is how we will be using this one in the now if i try to shuffle it see automatically it is shuffling so when i am doing the reverse thing when you do the juggling effect also it will appear it, it will it will come very nicely so removing also it is working very fine so if i try to do it in the <coughs> what i can say in a due so if i try to take it in a due so that means so i can remove this default due so why because by default this due will be in the inline block block only right so now this has moved like this now if i try to add it see it is trying to add it very easily so if i am trying to remove it automatically this one is removing so like this we can have a so like this we can have it so wherever you want it you can do it so like this you can do it so this is how we can do the transition grouping thing so when you are having a list of items using the transition group so we can apply the transition thing so this is what they are trying to tell you so this is the example they have given it so the same example we have implemented so if you want you can do all the things and you can check it so this is using the library greensock library they have implemented so if you want to have more animations if you want to do it so you can use take help of these animations libraries and we can implement it so that's it this is all about the transition and the transition group so this is how for uh, list of group of elements if you want to do the transition means using the transition group we can apply like this so just i have did a simple demo <coughs>